camera, you could take night shots and it'll come out real clear. Well, yeah. yeah. But then, uh... Yeah. Okay, uh, we out here at the cemetery. What's the name of this place? Grandview. Uh, Grandview Cemetery. And, uh... I got my niece out here. She just came in from Chicago. Sister's bad. Uh, she done this here. Handmade this thing herself. What we call a blanket. That goes on the graves. This is mom and dad. Uh, on this one here. And then we're going to step on over. On this way here. And this is. Uh, her mom and my sister. Alice. Is uh, grave. And uh, she came out to put a, uh, a flower, uh, a blanket, and uh, some pretty flowers on this, uh, on her headstone. So uh, we just out here today just enjoying life mm -hmm. and uh, living. And, uh, you know, we thank God for our family. And our mother and father and grandparents and mm -hmm. and uh, her mom, mm -hmm. which is on the uh, she was born 1926 and she passed in uh, 2011. And her birthday's uh, tomorrow. Her birthday's tomorrow. Ain't yes, that something? My goodness. My goodness. Hallelujah. So uh, I'm gonna turn around right here and uh, Paula. Yeah. I'm going to get you to talk to me just here for a second about uh, your trip down here and what you came down here to do. The purpose of my trip was to come and put a Christmas blanket on my mother uh -huh. and on my grandparents because my mother always made sure that her parents had a blanket, Christmas blanket, every Christmas uh -huh. on their grave. Uh -huh. And since my mother now has gone to be with the Lord, I have now taken that place to ensure that a blanket is not only put on her, but also on my grandparents. All right. So I thank God for giving me the strength and the creativity to even do this. Mm -hmm. And I know God and my mother and my grandparents and all of our loved ones are looking down on us. Mm -hmm. And I just thank God. And I miss them. And I know that God... They're in God's hands. Mm -hmm. And my mother left a song that she told her pastor, Rodney Williams, that God will take care of us. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. he will take care of All us. All right. Yes, he so will. day by day, we just draw off of his strength. Mm -hmm. And she has left a legacy behind that I know that I am going to try to fulfill. And it's a big legacy. Mm -hmm. But in God, I trust and I know that I will carry on. And not only with this grave, but now I'll have to go to my sister and my two nieces. Mm. That's in Quincy, Illinois. Mm. And my mother would want us to do something also to acknowledge them. So I have flowers also to put on their grave. Mm -hmm. And I thank God and I know that they're all rejoicing oh, together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we thank God. Mm -hmm. Thank my uncle mm -hmm. for coming out here to join me mm -hmm. for this. So God bless you and heaven smile upon you. All right. All right. This is my Paula, my niece. Amen. And uh, Alice, we be up there one day. Hallelujah. And uh, mom and dad, we'll be right there. So. He said, uh, he said he was coming back. So he gonna come back to get us. Amen. So we just thank God today. Thank God for all that Paula has done this day. And giving God all the glory. And just this is a, a part of our history right here. So we're gonna document this on this uh Ninth day? What's this? The eighth day of... Uh, no, this is December 9th, Uncle. December 9th, yeah. This December. is December 9th. Right. Oh, yeah. Grandma, your mom. Margaret, and Louis Dixon. Right. And my mother, Alice Dixon Watson, and uh. my sister, Margaret Ann Ayers, uh. 
and my niece Alice Marie Ayers uh -huh. and my other niece Anjanette Ayers. All right. So All right. we're just documenting this as my uncle said until we join them. That's right. In All the right. name of Jesus. All right. Amen. Hey. hey. Uh,